Yeah, David, um, you know, I keep hearing all these comments from all different directions about um, this Rolling Stones report, and uh, I guess it's become a scandal, and the journalist isn't going to be fired, and then you got Lion Brian Williams out there. Some revelations have come uh, come about on, on his integrity and whatnot, and, and I just... Uh, you know, as far as the shortcomings of the, uh, you know, state of the integrity and in journalism today, I mean, the, the media in general has been tainted, I think, forever. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it's, it's like an agenda driven farce every day in the media. Uh, and you got all these establishment, uh, you know, cheerleader type sycophants who, you know, they're on the payroll. So they're going to they're going to go along with the official narrative. Uh, and, and, uh, and everything that really comes out, all the major, you know, driving agendas, they're, they're, they're complicit in it because they want to keep getting a paycheck. And I mean, the most, the obvious, most obvious example of this is, uh, the, the complicity of the, uh, complicity of the, uh, media and the, uh, false flag of nine 11. I think that's coming up on oh, like yeah. the 14th anniversary yeah. and, uh, you know, no, the, the media ha has already, I mean, the, you know, you hear people in the media, radio hosts and different people in the mainstream media, people on TV saying, well, you know, Lion Brian Williams and, uh, you know, this Rolling Stones article. And then they, they act like they they just can't believe that the Rolling Stones would, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice their integrity like that. And I'm like, there is no integrity in the mainstream media. Man, you guys no. lost that a long time ago. I'm speaking to the people in the mainstream media out there. And, uh, well, and just also, look at what they uh, recently did in terms of, as you had these mandatory vaccination bills pushing their way through uh, different uh, state legislatures. Unfortunately, at least two of them have been shut down. Uh, we'll have to see if they're going to come back in, a, in another form. I'm sure they'll keep trying. But, of course, you've got uh, Megyn Kelly on Fox News saying, hey, hey, it sounds like a big brother. It is. But sometimes you need big brother. You know, when you need big brother is when your corporate sponsors, Big Pharma, own you like they do Fox News. And that's why they push that kind of stuff. And that's why they misrepresent what the real concerns are. The real concerns are, it isn't that we don't understand what vaccines are. We know exactly what, pass, what active immunity was about. We know what passive immunity was about. That's what we saw people getting these convalescent injections uh, in the wake of being exposed to Ebola. And of course, active immunity is what vaccines were about. The theory behind that is sound, except that now they have added all these different preservatives and adjuvants to it. And when you start adding things like aluminum and mercury and formaldehyde and all this other kind of stuff, now you don't simply have just a vaccine. But they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to have that discussion. Instead, it's like, just shut up. You're a bunch of ignorant people who don't understand uh, how vaccines work. And then they push that because that's what their corporate sponsors want. Something that people have to keep in the back of their mind is the powers that be, the, the elite at the top, you always have to keep in the back of your mind. What is always on their mind? Population control. They have yes. to control the population through whatever means necessary. Sterility, war. Mm -hmm. uh, Propaganda. You know, you know, first they'll try to win your hearts and minds. If they can't do that, then they will neutralize you and they'll take you down. And I, I think you really hit it. I mean, that really is what is at the forefront of their mind. They know that they're going to be automating 50% or more of the jobs out of existence. Are we going to have that many more jobs set up to create robots? No, we're going to have massive unemployment. You're not going to be able to reposition everybody for 50% of the jobs. And of course, the people that are going to be losing it are going to be at the bottom rung. The people who are working in the fast food restaurants or the people who are working for the most part in the transportation industry. That's going to really be hit hard with these self-driving autonomous uh, uh, trucks and that sort of thing. So it's going to be massive unemployment. So how do they do that? They have to pacify and control us or they have to eliminate us. You're exactly right. Thank you, Frank. I want to get uh, everybody that's uh, queued up here on. Thank you so much. Let's go to uh, Andrew in Iowa. Andrew, go ahead. Hello. Hey. Um, I have a idea for a nationwide movement that I don't expect will like fix everything or anything like that, but it may get them, you know, raising their eyebrows a little bit and being a little more concerned with how blatant they are about doing things. Okay, so quickly, because we're coming up to a break. Have, you got about uh, you got about 45 yeah. seconds. Lay it, lay it out for us. Okay, um, really quick, I think that everyone who listens to this broadcast should go out, like the Tea Party movement and 
protest the corruption. I don't want it to, like, turn into anything that Ferguson was like, but I want, like, a peaceful movement that protests all the tyrannical stuff, the FCC and the Internet, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the gun grabbing, everything else, you know. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. But I think there's more proactive things that we can do. I think if we can educate people, I think one of the ways that we can really shut down these criminal laws and take back our freedom is to do it one at a time with jury nullification. Think about it. If you've got one person out of 12, we can call that the 8% solution. Okay, one person out of 12 can shut down bad laws, shut down criminal uh, uh, applications of these laws, excessive fines and punishments. You can look at how they're going to use this. You can look at the law and not just the facts of the case. That's why juries were established. Go back and read the Founding Fathers. You can understand where that is. I think we can nullify them, especially at the jury level, because you can get state and federal laws there. We need to take back the jury system from the corrupt courts that have taken it from us. And we need to take back the power at the state to shut down this criminal government we call the federal government. Stay with us. I'm going to go back to your calls right after the break. The number is 800-259-9231. Bugging out? What if you don't make it to your bug out location? Could you survive in the woods for days, weeks, years? Learn critical survival skills for warm and cold weather from Sigma 3 expert Robert Allen in this all new three and a half hour survival skills DVD series produced by the Survival Summit. Learn life saving secrets on shelter, water, fire, and food procurement. Order the DVD series in the next 48 hours at thesurvivalsummit.com. Enter promo code SURVIVAL to save 10%. That's thesurvivalsummit.com. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Hey, how you doing, Al? Good, brother. Just recently started using your products. Everything you said about them is correct. Me and my wife both use a lot of them, and it's made a lot of changes in our lives here. Well, thank you, brother, It's because it also funds our operation. But doing that, I know I've got to have the highest quality. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. We do the Super Male and the Super Female Vitality. Big changes, a lot of energy. We've gotten off of the cheap energy drinks, energy shots. Saving a ton of money there. Sourced from powerful organic herbs, harvested around the planet, and then concentrated for maximum potency. They want to stun and dumb down, and energy drinks and stuff just cover that up for a while, but then burn you out, in my experience, whereas stuff that gets your glands naturally going goes right to the source. So it's pretty exciting, and I love it. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24-7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show In this final segment, we're going to go back to your calls As a caller in the last uh, segment was just talking about uh, The need to find a peaceful solution And of course Demonstrations are always good. Uh, I mean, people demonstrated at the Bundy Ranch, for example, but there was also a clear cut goal. They were also fed up with what the government was doing to their friends and neighbors. 
and they were going to put it all on the line. When you stand up to the federal government, when you refuse to be bullied, when you refuse to allow them to shut down uh, our legal system, they will back down. We've seen it over and over again. Typically, usually they only make an exception for the one person who is challenging them. That's what we've seen from the farmer in Michigan at Baker's Green Acres. That's what we saw at the Bundy Ranch. Uh, we see that over and over again with Corbett, who was fighting the uh, TSA. But we need to collectively stand up for our individual rights. And one of the ways we can do, as I mentioned, was with the uh, fully informed jury. Inform people of what their real duty, responsibility, and rights are as a juror. And that is to watch the back of each other. We've seen that work as well. And that is a very important, peaceful solution that you can do. Now, of course, you can also, I think, have much more effect at the state level than you're going to have at the federal government. An example of this is the bill that was just signed in Kansas City. In Kansas, this is Kansas City Star reporting it. Governor Brown back, as Alex pointed out last week, signed the bill to allow constitutional carry in Kansas. That's the fifth state allowing that. So you can establish your rights at the state level. And you can also refuse to send people to jail uh, when the government attacks their rights. If you don't like the way the government is coming at them, if you don't like the way they collected the evidence, if you don't like the uh, penalties that they're going to uh, expose them to, if you think that that's excessive, you have a right to shut that down, to let that person walk, and you have a duty to do that. It's called jury nullification. And what you're seeing happening here in these uh, various states in terms of uh, gun bills, that's uh, called constitutional carry. That's at the state level supporting what they will not do at the federal level. Uh, I want to go back to your calls, but just one more story here. And that is, I, I, you know, I saw this story came out of India about how they're now going to start using drones for crowd control. And of course, this is the kind of thing that we're going to see here in America, but it's going to be much more sophisticated, much more heinous in terms of crime control. We were talking earlier about the uh, situation in Panama. Uh, we saw some of that type of stuff used with the Panama invasion down there. They've got a lot of uh, really horrific stuff that's been developed by DARPA. But now in India, in the place called Lucknow, they're going to have drones that have the capacity to carry two kilograms of weight. And what are they going to do with that? Well, they're going to put pepper spray, uh, pepper powder in that. So they can shower the crowd with that if they don't disperse. If they want to redress their government, if they want to protest, they just... Drop the pepper spray on it. And when I saw that, saw the drones, I had just seen a couple of days earlier a picture of somebody using a small drone to herd sheep instead of a border collie. And uh, I've got a border collie, so they got my attention. But when I looked at that and I looked at this article here, it made me think about how much contempt our governments have for the people that they think of as sheep. If you had had a drone and it was dropping pepper spray on the sheep that didn't get into place, you would have the animal rights activists outraged about that. And I think they should be. But if they drop it on the people, ah, I'm sure they deserved it. That's the kind of attitude we see. That's the kind of attitude that supports the police state. That's the kind of attitude that we need to shut down. Yeah, your government does not love you. They think less of you than they do the real sheep. Uh, let's go quickly to Slim in Canada. Slim, you said you've got some Canadian legislation. I want to give people in Canada a chance to hear that. What's the bill? Real quickly, you've just got oh, a few C51. seconds. C-51? C-51? And what's it about? Yeah, I see you're going on a commercial right now. Did you want me to hold me over? Or? Uh, well, yeah, Are I'll tell you, you what. I'll, I'll hold. We'll do, uh, we'll do some overdrive. InfoWars Nightly News tonight at uh, 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Join us then, and hang on. We're going to go on overdrive and take a few more of these calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. 
Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it.